Hello everybody, my name is Craig Howard and we're at Happy Camper RV in Idaho. Today we're gonna to take a look at a 2024 Forest River Flagstaff Microlite 22 FBS. Super sweet couples coach. This is the brand new one for 2024. Actually, didn't really make many changes. Few design changes uh, as far as colors and aesthetics go. But it's the same floor plan that is tried and true and people freaking love it's so cool wait till you go inside but let's walk around the outside a little bit is this a 22 footer double axle it's on a dexter torsion axle goodyear tires on there it's going to give you the smoothest ride you can possibly get on a trailer it's awesome keep your camper protected from the bouncy roads Full length awning, really sharp looking frameless windows, power everything, stabilizer jacks right there, tongue jack up front. Check out this huge pass through storage. That's massive, you could put a whole bunch of stuff in there. Right under here, we can see the aluminum construction. All six walls, that includes the roof and the floor, are welded aluminum. It's a rounded truss aluminum roof, fully walkable. Let me show you this pass through from the other side. Some of the accessories it comes with, this awesome griddle clips on right here, connects right to your propane system. This table can clip on there as well, so you've got a nice outdoor cooking station. There's the power cord. That little hose right there. Hooks on. Back here, it's kind of the newer style um, outdoor shower. Just a little bit nicer than the older ones. Right there is the back mechanical access. It's got a dual fuel propane or electric fridge. Solar panel up top already. You can kind of see from here, I'll step back. It's got max air vent covers on there, big AC. water heater here's all your connections right here for water also a cable or satellite power connection this is a 30 amp vehicle here's our drains for our holding tanks sealed underbelly got a receiver hitch in the back for some accessories maybe a bike rack or just a storage rack that's rated for 300 pounds. Up here, pre-wired for a backup camera. Got the more ride step above steps there. Check this out, I don't know if you've ever seen this. They put a little hydraulic strut in here. Lift it with one finger. It'll even hold itself in place. I love that because every time I move the, the style that doesn't have the assist. I just imagine that thing slamming down, hitting me in the face. And next thing you know, I'm in the worst place on earth, the dentist's office. That's a joke, my dentist is great, but you know what I'm saying. Pretty sharp looking, huh? What do you think of the colors? I, I love them. Just slight change from years past, but I think it looks super sharp. Let's go inside. So what we'll do is I'll give kind of a quick overview and then we will dive into a little bit more depth, open all the cupboards and cabinets and show you everything. Fixed full size residential queen up front. Check out those theater seats.
fireplace, smart TV, three burner with an oven, microwave up there, the sink. Everybody loves the sink. This is a simple innovation they came out with a few years ago, but everybody loves this um, roller mat. If you want to use that to dry dishes, pretty cool. There's that Dometic gas electric fridge. Let's peek in the bathroom here. Really nice toilet. Tons of storage in there. Big shower. We'll dive back more into that in just a minute. Huge pantry slash wardrobe right here. You've got a couple different options for whatever suits you best. But let's start showing you everything on here. Um, control panel from WeRV, right as you come in, you can connect your app on your cell phone right to that. That thing works really nicely. Up here is the solar charge controller. Today is a super foggy day. Actually, I got that on the wrong setting so you can't see. Super foggy day. Um, and that thing's still getting a little bit of power from what little sunlight's coming through right now. So it's very efficient. Overhead storage right here above your sink. Look how deep that is. You can fill that with pots and pans or maybe some snacks. Great microwave up, up there. This is cool. I don't think a lot of people realize that uh, Flagstaffs do this. There's a little knife block right there built in in the back. Small thing. Um, you know, on this oven, the depth and the range top is only about to there. So most campers, that's just dead space. Not on a Flagstaff. Like my Uncle Brett likes to say, not on a Rockwood, the sister to this. Comes with a smart TV right there. And it's a nice one, JBL speakers in that thing. Check this out. Again, this is um, a spot that on a lot of other campers, that's just dead space right there. Flagstaff makes use of that space. I don't know what you'd put in there, but I'd rather have the storage than not have it. Cool fireplace right here. You can see the heat duct right here. We'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, but this thing will put off, if you've got electrical hookups and you can run this, that thing will supplement your furnace. And that, especially on a camper this size, that fireplace right there will probably heat this camper all by itself. Again, another small thing right here. This probably doesn't cost them very much money at all, but it makes a huge difference. Extending your counter space here. I love it. And pretty easy to operate. I'm holding my camera and can do it one-handed. up here in the bedroom area. I uh, also want to point out, this is how this came from the factory. The bed is made, the pillows look nice. Very, very, very small detail, but that speaks to the quality, the pride that they have in Millersburg making these things. Check this out, lift that up. Got a little bit of storage here and there's a partition. So we've got our drawers down here. I love that. I imagine maybe you're putting extra bedding or something like that in here, shoes in here, who knows, but it's cool to have the partition. I think it gives you a lot of options. Again, you can see the welded aluminum. They use this on the bed frame along with the rest of the camper. Right behind that shade, let me open it up. This thing has a huge front window. It's automotive grade glass. Sometimes people ask me about what happens when I get a rock that comes up here and hits this and my glass breaks? Well, it's not gonna shatter, um, just like a windshield on a car. And the cool thing is, if you do have that happen, that glass is actually a heck of a lot easier to repair and replace than if it was just a full fiberglass cap. Typically, in that scenario, we've gotta send a camper to a body shop or have them come out here. Um, the glass breaks, our technicians change that pretty easy. Just a day job. They added magnets on there. Now I'm not operating all right, um, but that holds back against magnets. 
We've got a 110 outlet right here. Some folks use a CPAP machine at night. You can plug it in right there. Same on that side. And plenty of uh, counter space to set your machine on. Maybe your book, glass of water, your phone. That's nice to have. Let's look at this storage up above the bed. Let's see if I can open this up. I'm just kind of kneeling on the bed, not getting this dirty. But you got so much space up here. Unbelievable. Okay, and then we got wardrobe on the side. Got a rod to hang hangers in already. And then check out this drawer right here. Underneath this right here is that big pass-through storage that we looked at on the outside. All the way across. Right here we've got, that's the control for your inverter. On this side, this is just a toggle switch for the lights in the bedroom. And then we've got USB 12 volt power right there. Okay, coming around. Again, this is probably dead space on other campers. Flagstaff goes above and beyond, giving you really practical storage. Also, check out the nice hardware they use on these hinges and cabinetry. Soft close there. I like that. Okay, the theater seats. Pretty awesome. Seem to improve these every year. Got storage in here, wireless charging right here, and then this I love. In the past, they give you a separate table, which was really nice, but it was a little bit bulky and awkward. You typically stored it back here. By the way, check that out. We've got 110 wired in the slide, very uncommon. But these individual tray tables seem like a huge step up to me. You don't have to mess with the table. Those still come off and get out of the way if you don't want them. But I can just see those being so handy and practical when you're actually using this camper. And of course those recline, really nice, very, very comfortable. Here's your thermostat. That controls the furnace and the AC. It's got AC right here, which is ducted throughout the coach. Even up here in the bathroom, you can see. And then furnace. Furnace is right behind there. That's the return for it. We've got one register right there. And then there's one in the bathroom. I think there's one on this side too. Oh, there's two right there on this side, right below the fire extinguisher. Okay, check out this giant pantry. Seen people take those shelves out, turn that into hanging storage for more clothes if you want. Whatever you want to do, there's tons of space there. And then this cabinet below, not a lot of space. It's um, or basically none. Um, you can kind of see water heater behind there, so you just get this false panel. Uh, but that's really nice access for winterization or if you ever need maintenance or anything on that. Let's check out the fridge in this and we'll go in the bathroom. Beautiful. Check this out. I don't know if you've seen this yet. Flagstaff started doing this just recently. This is the owner's manuals. Organized so nicely here. Giving you everything you need. I mean, this looks like something you'd turn in like your PhD thesis, the package you'd put together. Beautiful job, Flagstaff tire pressure monitor system. The hardware's already in the tires. Put that screen right there in your truck. 
programs in about two minutes, less than that. Super fast, super easy. You can monitor your tires from the truck while you're driving. Fuse box right there and gas detector. And we got a little more storage right here. Again, on lower grade campers, this is something I'd see, it's just dead space. I love the open space. I love that they didn't put finish the cabinetry and left that open. I imagine that's a good spot maybe to put some shoes, slide them off when you climb in the camper. Just keep it a little bit cleaner in here. All right, let's peek at the bathroom. Big corner shower right there. This might not open easy. I bet I'm the first person to ever open it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. They've got a magnetic sill also built into that rubber, and so it stays closed really nicely. So this device right here, if you've never seen that before, it's called a shower miser. Basically, it helps you cons conserve water. That blue, uh, the blue piece turns kind of a translucent gray color once there's hot water available here. And so you don't need to run the water and wait for the hot water to run from the heater through the lines to here. Saves you some water. More storage right here for your towels and toiletries. Little medicine cabinet. More 110. Not a ton of space right here because we've got some plumbing, but there's enough. You can you can put some stuff in there. Okay, my friends, this has been a 2024 Flagstaff 22 FBS Microlite at Happy Camper in Idaho. They've got another um, interior option, which is a little bit darker furniture and cabinetry, just depending on what you like. Tell me what you think though. Let's go look one more time at the outside. I was gonna climb up on the roof, show you everything up there, the solar panel, but it's a little bit icy this morning and I didn't feel like going to the hospital today. Isn't that thing beautiful? You ought to come see it in person at Happy Camper.